This is the GD102 GPS Director, produced by GlobalSat Technologies. On the front of the packaging for the GD102, you have a window to fully view the device. On the side of the packaging, you have a list of features. The back of the packaging has specifications as well as package contents. The other side of the packaging has your serial number as well as information on the included software. The package contents include the GD102 GPS director, the data cable, quick start guide, a lanyard, the CD-ROM that includes the PC utility, USB cable driver, quick start guide, and user manual, and as well as the bike mount with the bike mount hardware. The front of the GD102 has the LCD display as well as the lanyard hole. The back of the unit will have the two function buttons, power and the set button, as well as the cover locking switches to remove the back cover. To remove the back cover and insert the batteries, you unlock the locking switches and pop the cover off. This will expose your batteries as well as your serial number, also the four prong connection port for the USB cable. To insert the batteries, you take your two AAA batteries and insert them in the direction shown Reattach the cover, put the locking switches back to the lock position, and the device will be ready to power on. The first time you turn on your GD102, you'll come to the compass calibration screen. The screen will look like this, where you will rotate the compass in a clockwise motion. For it to be calibrated. Once it goes to the main screen, you will see the flashing satellite icon in the upper left hand corner. Flashing means that it is searching for a fix. When it turns solid, you have a GPS fix. On the right side of the screen, you have the battery life. The GD102 can store up to five locations. Each location will be indicated by a different icon. These icons include either a house, a city building, a car, the mountains, or a star. To log a specific location, choose the icon you want represented at that location and push and hold the set button. The screen will go to the flag that location has now been set. Once a location has been set in the GD102, you have two other screen displays that you can navigate to. This is the direction or navigation screen. If you press the power button one more time, it will take you to your moving information screen. This will provide you with your current speed, route period, route mileage, as well as device status. You press it one more time, it gives you your accumulating information screen. This screen will show your average speed, your max speed, and your total mileage, as well as the device status. By pressing it one more time, it will take you back to the navigation screen. To install the lanyard in your GD102, you take the lanyard, you can unclip it from the main piece, you take the small end of the string, and thread it through the lanyard hole in the GD102. Take the clip end, loop it into that hole, and pull it snug. Clip it back onto the lanyard, and you're done. To install the bike mount on your GD102, you will need your cradle, the attachment for the cradle, one of the two included spacers as well as the included nut and bolt. First you'll need your bike grip and the best suitable spacer out of the two for your handlebars. Put the spacer inside of the ring, adjust the location on your handlebars, then you'll take the included nut and bolt and you'll see on the clip uh, one side is rounded and one side is edged to where the nut will just set right in. 
and you take the bolt use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it down then once it's tight on your bike you take the cradle and just slide the cradle on. Once that's been done you can just pop your GD102 right into the cradle to remove it just pop it out. The GD102 has an onboard memory that can store 45,000 points. To download these points from the device you will need the included USB cable as well as the included software. To interface the GD102 with your PC, you take the included USB cable, you pop the cover off of the back of your GD102. On the four prong connection port, you'll also notice a small little pinhole right below it. That pinhole is where this metal prong will fit right into. You just line up the holes and press in and plug the other end into your computer. And that concludes our brief introduction of the GD102 GPS Director, produced by GlobalSat Technologies.